from Scorpio to your Saturn and Pisces transit reading. Uh, this reading is for March. I'm doing them early um, since this transit happens March 7th, so we want to make sure that these are out nice and early. Um, remember, this only is good for your sun and rising, okay? So if this is your moon, this is not for you, right? Because it only affects those two, those two areas, okay? <clears throat> Saturn is coming into your fifth house, okay, so it's going to be affecting your fifth house, and then, of course, whatever your rising or sun, depending on what you're watching right now, okay. Uh, cross watchers, welcome, welcome, because you could be watching to see what's going on with your person, okay, see how it's going to affect you as well, um, you know, when you're dealing with them, okay, so going straight over here into the Saturn, guys. We have the part of you that accepts the challenge to gain wisdom. I call Kronos the grumpy grandpa. Whether you have one or new one, or no one, that is him. Um, he's about discipline, grounding, hard work. He's a little shrewd, not even a little shrewd. As you will notice, he gets kind of out there. Um, it almost makes me feel like we're so angry, right? But the anger is all for the love. He rules with an iron fist. So, because he is karmic, right? He has restrictions. He constricts things, restricts things, you know, and, he, he, but he doesn't just allow karmic rewards to just fall into place. You really had to work hard, right? To really have him reward you. Because, you know, out of all the astrology things that I have watched, it's almost like, you know, it's, it, it's like if you put him into a personal area, it's kind of like, I'll let somebody else like Jupiter give you your rewards later. I'm not really about 100% rewarding you. This time I'm about challenging you for the wisdom, the growth, and making sure that you're on the right path. And anything karmic that's going to come around, oh, leave you and me, right? We'll be revisiting that. <laughs> karmic ties, getting rid of them, you know, for good karmic reasons, things like that. So if you guys are watching the videos, which I have been seeing, you getting winning the lottery and all that, that more than likely will not happen. Okay, that is not what he is here to do. He's not here to 100% reward you for things. Okay, he is here to teach you, right, about material things, getting serious about life, where are you going, being cautious and ambitious, bringing in that drive, right? So let's get to this. This is your fifth house. This is the house where you have fun, romance, and create things you are proud of. There's going to be a lot of creativity going around, but it's also going to hit that fifth house of romance, right? So for those of you who are in relationships, okay, boyfriend, girlfriend, strong connections, probably not married, that would be the fourth house more than likely, this is really going to affect you. And we see that right there with the queen of forces already upside down. Right here in Saturn, he's already forewarning you that you're with someone who feels like they're in control of the sun and the moon, not leaving you any room for any kind of control. Someone who might even show a little aggression at times. And if this is one of those areas in their life, more than likely, that they've been struggling with or you've been struggling with within a relationship, you are getting a tower right off the bat. Lightning strikes. So if those of you who are creative, this is where the creative blocks are going to really start coming into play. Saturn is, like I said, grim, grimpy grandpa. He's not very nice. Um, it is Kronos, guys. Okay, so leave it that way. But Capricorn, you know, over here, they get used to it because that's their sign, right? And you know Capricorn, you know they're firm, down to earth, right? Serious, materialistic. Hard workers want to get up that mountain, and that's what he's pushing you to do. In your fifth house, the only difference is he's pushing the, the fun. And some of this is not going to be very fun. That's the problem. <laughs> right? And it's going to be deep, intense emotions because it's in Pisces. So where the lightning strikes, is going to really strike you hard. This is where you're going to have the realizations of what's going on around you. This is where it's all going to, he's going to take off the rose-colored glasses. He's going to say, you know what, you're trying to make things work that are not working. It's an all an illusion. I do not play with illusions. I play with reality. 
So anything that doesn't seem realistic to him, he is going to make sure to give you a tower and make sure that that falls away so that he can wake you up to see what is real, what is stable, um, what is going on within your life. Because he wants to bring back that childhood joy. He wants you to understand this is not fun. Where's your innocence? Where's your childhood fun? Where's this and that? It, you know what? Things are very serious, but I need you to get serious about what is going on within your life. He's not telling you why so serious, Batman. Right? I want you to be that serious. No, he, he's bringing in, he's telling you where's the play? Where's the, I want you to challenge. I want you to and capture the life force. I want you to have the realizations of what's disappointing you within this. What is setting you back? And then, of course, he's going to cause these setbacks when he takes off those rose-colored glasses. When he comes in, you probably will have some creative blocks. Any creative projects that, you know, that you might have been working on, he may want you to relook at them. Focus on what's really going on. Is this, you know... Is this really what it is? He wants you to be more disciplined about your passionate projects, about your passion in your relationship, in your romance. More passionate about having fun and joy and enjoying life to grow. How hard is that, right? Do you have any estrangements with your children? He wants to bring that into play, make you look back into your mind to try to fix the situations, what went wrong. And it's intense, okay? It's intense because, like I said, because of that Pisces, it's really going to be an intense time. And talking about this queen over here, like I said, that queen, uh, she's not always the nicest thing. They're, they're trying to tell you who is this, who is this person that you cannot get along with in the romance area. They want to argue. They're, this is a very argumentative side. This is the Queen of Forces. This is an Earth sign card. So they're very argumentative. They want to argue their points. They want to do things for themselves. It's the me, 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 me. Not giving you any room. Struggling in your relationship. coming out as a second card, right? For those of you who really need that, otherwise it's more about the creative blocks and things that you're passionate about, but, you know, take it how it resonates. You know what it is. Whatever, you know, if you don't have a relationship and you know that that's not it, you can throw that away. So it's talking about the forgiveness, the forgiveness within yourself to move forward. Here comes that Pisces energy coming through saying, yes, because I'm going to throw this out there at you. This is for you to forgive yourself. This is where that relentless, I have to go back into my mind and fix the situation and forgive myself for the things that I've done in my karmic ties, my karmic pasts, saying things that maybe I didn't mean to say. Maybe I need to forgive myself, you know, or forgive them. And tell them I gotta go because this is not working. I'm gonna take off my glasses because my glasses are saying that this can be fixed. This could be the best thing of our lives, but now I'm realizing that I need to take responsibilities for myself, that this is not working. It hasn't worked for years. It hasn't worked for months. It hasn't worked for, you know, weeks. But we're trying to make things work. It's great when it's great, but then it's terrible. If it's that horrible, it cannot be fixed. I have to let it go, and it's going to make you let it go anyways, because, look, you have a tower. So it's saying, let this go. Let me bring you something. And look, you already have something else. Look at this, guys. They've already got something going on. And I think we, we've gone through this. We've gone through this reading, and now we know where it's coming through. So if you guys, you know, a lot of you had this tower when Pluto was in Uranus, and you, a lot of you try to fix it. Right? You just tried to fix the situation. Now it's saying, I'm, I'm taking it from you. Because I have this faded meeting of this king of forces, which could be another earth sign. 
So maybe you're dealing with, you know, it doesn't have to be either of. It's just saying now I'm going to give you somebody who's so, you know what I mean, who's doing the things that they need to be doing, who's in control, who lets me also have control, who we can get along with. Understanding. We can rule together, not separate. I don't need somebody ruling over me. Right? And they want to bring in a faded meeting. Wow. Holy Gemini, right? So over here, they start activation. Just bring this back up over here. The soul star activation is filling the soul contracts. Look at that. This is, oh my gosh. It's karmic. This is a karmic relationship. Because you are fulfilling your soul contracts. Remember who you are. So whoever you're dealing with, it's not meant to be forever. You were supposed to learn something. So it's going to take those off, make you learn. What did I learn from this person? Whoa. You're the only reading that's had anything like this. But then again, you're only one of the fifth house. <laughs> And there is that, right? But this is literally saying this is a karmic that you were supposed to already get rid of. Or if you've only been together a couple of weeks or whatever, then it's 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 you already learned what you needed to learn and you need to you need to break the ties. Whoa. Okay. That is wow. Now that makes me understand why you guys had a tower with the Pluto and the Uranus to free yourself and let go. And now he's saying, I'm the karma, I'm Saturn, I'm the karma, and I'm telling you the contract's over. Release before it gets worse or before you, you miss out on this person who I've brought in for you. I'll bring that in. You're waiting. Whoa. Okay. And it's also going to bring in creative passion for the things that you really need because there's other things that you need to be doing on a creative note, right? For creative projects, works, things of this nature, right? Wow. This is crazy. Let's get a Halloween card over here. I call them the Halloween cards. For those of you who watch the Halloween special who have been here, you'll remember these cards. So the things that you've learned, what are some of the things that you've learned? Let's ask that question. I want to know, so what was it that he actually should have made you learn? This will help you when you're taking off this, these glasses and you're, you're taking off and you're really, you know, getting deep into that situation of, okay, but what did I learn? If your intuition is a little blocked and you're having a hard time, right, you might not see it for what it is. So what is it that you've learned? Okay, first it says you need to use your intuition. <laughs> use your intuition and you'll see it. But literally what it is is you, you've you learned the Lady de los Mutros, which is acceptance and equality. And, you know, that's interesting because we just said she's ruling or he's ruling over you, not allowing you. To be yourself, not showing that there's any equality within the relationship. They're the boss. They may even treat you like the child. So what you're learning is to accept yourself, how to re accept a relationship, how to become equals. I'm the king and you're the queen. You're not just my king and I'm not just some little princess running around. Or I'm not the, just some little prince running around and you're the, the queen. Right? I'm the king and you're the queen within the relationship. I don't care if you're boyfriend, you know, because it's just mostly boyfriend, girlfriend, or really long relationships, right? It could be marriage as well. I, I'm, I won't deny that. But what I'm trying to say, though, more than anything, is that you've learned that a relationship is equal give and take as well. If I'm giving you love... You don't just take it and then run away from me and then pat me on my head. I'm not your dog. Well, I've seen some really nasty things going on over here. 
And then you're just like saying, okay, it's okay. They're still patting me on my head. They're still showing the, that's just the way that they love. No, that's not the way we love. We don't pat each other on the head. We're not three-year-olds or the dog. No. If anything, they kiss you on your forehead. They kiss you on your lips. They kiss you on your, you know. There's other ways to show attention. I'm talking to you. You're not giving me eye contact. You're ignoring me. You're too busy on your phone. You're looking over this way. You're not giving me a real conversation. There's things that are going on and you're realizing that you're accepting things that are they're so much more better. So having the understanding of what true love is, and this is not it, there is a such thing, and this is death, death of love. So they want you to let go and accept that there is what you're looking for does exist, and here it comes. It's already set up, and I know it's already set up. It could even be, I think we talked about this in another one, that you might already be talking or texting this person as a friend, or something like that. You guys would have to find those videos. Um, I think, I, I don't know, they're all over the place. Actually, this, this thing's been going on for quite a while. This setup's been going on for a while. Um, for those of you who this resonates with <clears throat> on that area. Um, for the creativity area over here, it's what taking the control and you can see that in both areas. Actually, I, I could put that in the whole fifth house. Just taking the control. Right? Taking the control back on your life. Knowing you're in control. Right? Bringing back those creative things that you need. Accepting. Opening up your intuition. Right? Seeing what it is. Being more disciplined using more of your authentic um, self-expression. Maybe you're not putting everything into it. Maybe that's what Saturn's saying. You know what? You have so much creative um, power going in within you. I need you to open up your intuition and really use your self-expression and be more authentic because there's so much more to your create creativity than you're actually using, right? You're only using maybe 10% out of the 100% lately, and I don't like that, right? You want these creative projects to really go through. You want your band to go. Let's go. I'm going to get you there. Use your, you know, use what the universe has given you. You have a gift of creative power. You're a writer. You're a, you paint. You make lyrics for a band. Let's get that band going. You see what I'm saying? Let's get creative. Let's do these things. You're holding back on um, fun. You're allowing Everything else to not allow you, you're being too serious, and I need you to, you know what, look at your life and say, life is supposed to be exploring, it's supposed to be fun, right? And then it could have everything to do with this one person, too. Wow, that's crazy. So you're really about learning curves, right? Really about the learning curves right now, guys. So over here, I'm not even going to take any tarot on that one because it just doesn't feel necessary because you've gotten so many cards. It's just amazing. But it definitely you have this karmic going on. And that's the karmic relationship itself. Wow. So over here on the Capricorn, it says, I want you to get serious about what it is you truly want within your life. I want you to really look deep within yourself. You know, if it starts making you cry and you need a box of ice cream, some extra Hershey syrup, then you better get to the store and get it, right? And a box of tissues um, because Saturn's not nice, right? So the journey and the Buddha prepares is the two cards you're getting out. You guys are the only ones that got two cards out so far. Um, but the journey is getting back to where you really need to be. And the Buddha prepares says it's time to meditate and get serious about the situation. And this is, you know... Really enlighten yourself. Look at your karma. Um, this is about karma. Look at your karmic ties. Look at what you've really learned within this journey so far. So that you can journey on the right path to the right places. Be in control of your life and what you really truly need. Really step yourself up. If you have to use your voice, let's get that strong voice going. Really step into your power. Do not allow yourself to feel like an imposter in your own fifth house. 
Do not allow yourself to be an imposter in your own relationship where you feel like you have to bow down, be somebody that you're not, just for their sense of freedom, for their sense of being, for their sense of control. That is not what? Equality. You want somebody to love you for who you are. You want to do the things you want to do and they should be accepting who you are, not trying to change who you are. Never fear what's going on around you or fear that there's nothing there for you or fear that I'll never get this off the ground. This is time to breathe life into something new and really shine your light over here. That's what Buddha says. Shine your light where the light belongs. Getting down to your roots, your authentic self. One plus three is four. That's your root chakra. That's your vitality. That's who you are, yourself. You might not be getting the compliments that you want at this time, right? You might even be feeling like you're you're giving out all these compliments and no one's complimenting you on your your hard work or the way that you're feeling or the way that you know you're you're doing things. If anything, it could be literally opposite. It could be super quiet or just in control. Wow. Like I said, these readings are harsh, <clears throat> but uh, it's. It's the truth that we all need to hear, you know. If we really want to grow and really want to be the people we really want to be, we can't sugarcoat everything. And Saturn doesn't sugarcoat nothing. In fact, if anything, he wants you to stop sugarcoating everything too. And that's a part of getting rid of that, you know, those rose-colored glasses and says stop sugarcoating this relationship and take back your control. Take a reality check. Wow. Holy crap, coming straight underneath the Capricorn is the full moon in Capricorn. It says, I want you, you're going to get a reality check. You get into this meditation, you get this tower, and a reality check is coming. Why? Because they're going to start acting exactly how they said they weren't going to act anymore. Because karmic ties always come back around. You're going to have to step up and take your lead back. Oh, Capricorn again. New moon in Capricorn, man. I'm telling you, this cap is, this Saturn is not messing around with you guys. They're like, you know what? I'm done with this. Wow. I mean, this, you know, they're not even going to mess around. This is not a time to mess around. This is a time of importance. And I'm telling you, this is because I have faded meetings going on with you. Whether it's faded mean, you know, meeting for this love, for this meaning to get maybe your, your creative project off the, the ground and really start moving. Wow. Because you are the force. Wow, I keep saying that. You are the force. I ain't got time for this. This is divinely done. I, I gotta go. Seven of roses. Seven. Seven. Wow. definitely talking to you. 777, seven, seven, divinely done. Right? Step up and take your lead. Step up, do what you need to do. Full moon and Scorpio, breathe through the tension. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of tension going through, that's for sure. Especially, yeah, release your blocks. Whoa, 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 there's our creative blocks. You know, release your blocks. Allow yourself to become your true potential person of what the way you want to live and who you want in your life and what you want in your life. Stop letting someone else control your destiny, your life. You take it back. You work hard, diligent, focus on the strong voice that you have within yourself. You climb that mountain for yourself. Wow. I'm actually going to get a tarot card on this one. This is a very, very strong message. Personally, I like the stronger messages myself. Some people don't like them, but I love them because it actually moves you in the right direction. It gives you more ideas of what it is I really need to take, you know, and really do. Yeah, stop playing it small. Get out there. You might feel like right now, though, during this time that you have lack of planning because the intense emotions are going to be so intense that you might feel like you are, right? 
having the obstacles for the long-term goals, having a hard time actually, you know, really opening up and taking the control right away, right? Because the emotions are going to be so intense. But I'm hoping through this, this video um, that it gives you a little bit of foresight to see that, you know what, these emotions are going to come. So you can take more control over them. So maybe you could get through the experience better. Does that make sense? That's why I do videos. Because it's going to help you understand. And then you'll say, oh, I got to no way of crying. Life sucks. And then you'll be like, the video said, take control. So that it makes you want to like kind of stand up, pull your pants up and say, you know what? I'm not going to sit around and cry anymore. I do have the control. I understand what Saturn's saying. I understand, right? And it's going to give you that now conscious awareness. The new ideas, bringing in the curiosity, having the thirst for knowledge. Well, that's wonderful because Saturn says the part of you that accepts the challenge to gain the wisdom through some kind of thirst of knowledge. I want to know. I want to unbury this truth. Then it's going to make you look at the people around you, look at the things around you that are going on, you know, and you're going to say, well, holy schniz, you're absolutely right. I went to say something to my person and you know what? They just kind of like snapped at me and were like, your opinion really sucks and um, I'm right and you're wrong. And wow, they didn't even really let me have an opinion. So why even ask for my opinion if I don't, if I can't use it? If it's your way and the highway, then why are you even asking my opinion? You want to argue? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> right? But it's going to allow you to see, really see, and really become clear about the situations at hand. And then you're going to find new ways of communicating this. Um, and you'll probably find them within yourself first before you actually speak your truth. Right? Because first you're going to want to kind of, right, put your place you know, put your ego in place, kind of look around, try and look at the situation before you actually really move, right? Actually take that action. Um, and yeah, that would be very wise. And then you can come to this person and, you know, oh my God, but if you come to this person, it's just going to cause conflict. Oh my gosh, it's going to cause fire. It's going to cause a fight as soon as you open your mouth. Wow. Okay. Oh boy, I don't like that. So they are actually going to challenge you with their limitations. They're literally going to stand up for themselves. You guys could be dealing with an air sign or a Leo, a Sagittarius, or a Aries. doesn't have to be. But no matter what, they're literally going to come at you. So as soon as you get inspired to want to open your mouth and tell your truth, they're going to fight that. It's going to cause conflict. Oh, there's that tower, though. That's where the tower is going to come through. Because it's going to feel like the tower is already there, and then you're going to kind of see it, and then it's just going to boom. Because it's going to cause the disagreements and the competition. They're going to try to defeat you, take away your sword. Because they want to win at all costs, right? And then, of course, you might want to win at all costs as well because now you are open to understanding what's going on. So it's going to make that scorpion tail want to, you know what I'm saying, not want to back down. So it's definitely going to be also, I believe, you winning at all costs too to make them understand your um, where you're coming from, your truth. And I just, I see them as, you know, they may even say you're being a bully. What? Yeah, because they're going to think that you're being, they may even try to tell you, you know what, Scorpio, you're being excessive and extreme about this situation. And you, guys, I'm sorry, that's manipulation. You standing up for your truth and then them trying to say things like this and then coming at you and then trying to tell you that stuff is manipulating you. And it's manipulating you to back down. It's manipulating you to lose your power. It's manipulating you not to be able to use your voice. It's also keeping you down and not being their equal. Again, there we go. So, you know, so you're going to actually, Saturn's going to teach you to know your limits. 
you're going to learn that you are great, that you are just as good as they are. Your ideas and your opinions are just as good. Your creative endeavors and the things that you do are just as good as anyone else, um, that you are totally great. You are on the right path, that you will be on the right path. You're not on right now, but you'll figure out the right path. You're not now, but you will find it, right? Um, but you are on it, probably other houses, right? Work, career, somewhere, right? Just not on this one. Um, but you're going to know your limits, right? And you're going to know what your limits are. Okay, you need to pause and don't panic, guys. Okay, just pause and don't panic. That's where the step up for your lead is going to be, really. But that's where the breathe through the tension is. But do you see this Scorpio right here? That's how they have you. The only difference is I see him on his kind of like, I don't know, on his kind of like back, like on his back legs or something. And then you kind of fall forward and then you're ready to strike. Because they're going to get you ready to strike. You see the strike here. They're, you're going to strike, right? You're, you're with your words. But your words are of truth because you're going to see the truth. You're not just striking because you're just telling bullshit. No, because you're tired of the conflict with them. Four of wands upside down. I'm tired of this conflict. I need a transition. If they don't want to show you the support that you need, it's saying lack of support, conflict, no inner harmony. So this is going to be where you're going to find your personal celebration, your personal, not for the family. Not through the love, not through this person, but for yourself. Because now you have the understanding of what you're doing. It's like, don't compliment me. I'm not worried about it. You're not on my side anyways. <clears throat> this is where you're really going to understand. And the understanding is going to allow you to not what, live in the past anymore because you keep bringing up nostalgia. You keep trying to live in the past. You forgive, you move forward, but then it's always the same thing. It's like what comes around goes around, but that's what a karmic relationship does. That's what, and I don't, you know, and then, you're right. The karmic ties, you need to break the ties. Yeah. So with the fifth house, wow. Okay, so this is going to really allow you to shine your light and really stand up for yourself and understand. Putting up your own boundaries now. For whatever reason, living in your true potential and pushing back anything that is limiting you and that's challenging you and telling you that this is, you know, I don't know, I just keep getting this person like they just really want to puppeteer you. They may even tell you what clothes to wear, pick out your clothes. I mean, what are we, five? Come on, man. You know? It almost feels like to the point, too, where it was like if you went to the store, and you bought a bunch of clothes, they'd be like, oh, what's that? Take it back. It's ugly. And it'd be like, that's mine. And I love it. But they won't let you wear it. It's like, what do you mean you won't let me wear that? What the hell's wrong with you? I mean, I don't even care if it's the ugly Christmas sweater. I'll wear my ugly Christmas sweater at Christmas if I want to. That's what we all do. That's the whole point. It's the ugly Christmas sweater. We don't wear it in May. Now, if you did, now there could be a, a reason why you make them put it back in the closet. I mean, there's certain limitations, right? You don't want to embarrass each other. Okay, guys. But I'm not talking about those types of things, right? Or right, just be normal. <clears throat> okay, where you have fun, romance, and create things you're proud of in this fifth house. And this fifth house is saying, yeah, because you're going to get rid of this. I need you to let go of this. Um, I really need this to go away so that you have this faded meeting and the king of forces coming through. I have this could be an earth sign, could be literally a Taurus coming through. Um, it does not have to be. It could be a Taurus, Gemini, or a Capricorn. Like I said, it doesn't have to be. Um, but uh, definitely having this coming through for you because this is where they want you to be. This person knows how to handle themselves. Let's just put it this way. They're everything this person's not that you are looking for. Let's just leave it there, right? So over
over here on the Faded King on the King of Forces coming through. Open up to change. See, there it is. There it is. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius, and they're saying, let go of the Aquarius. I'm bringing in this, this Earth sign. Um, this is the new moon in Aquarius. Open up to change, or maybe you're getting rid of an Earth sign for Aquarius. Who knows, right? Everybody has their own story. On this one over here, you mostly have a lot of Aquarius energy and Gemini energy, to tell you the truth. Over here we have, uh, so far, this uh, Taurus energy, but it doesn't have to be. Because the king of horses would be Taurus. This over here would be Capricorn, right? So, <clears throat> excuse me. But it's opening up to the change. Allow this change to happen. Cut those ties. Do what you need to do. Do what Saturn tells you to do. And cut that. You know what you need to do. If someone is holding you back on the creative endeavors and you know it's your drummer is just not doing a good job, it's time for him to go so that you have this new drummer coming in who's going to really spark up the band. Okay. New moon in Scorpio. Go deeper. A lot of Scorpion cards coming out, guys, in your own energy. They really want you to know that Saturn with this Capricorn within this Scorpio is like, this is divinely super, super duper, super duper divinely set up in this house. New moon in Scorpio, go deep, go deeper, go deeper than you always have. And I love it. At the bottom, it says lighten up a little bit. There's no re reason to be so serious. No, Batman, we need to have a little bit of fun. So if you feel like the other person never allowed you to really have fun, do the hobbies you want, do the things that you need. Maybe they called you a child for playing video games. You know what? I'll play video games if I want to. Don't tell me I'm not going to go and play video games. What are you talking about? Lighten up. Time for you to lighten up the air. Lighten yourself up. Honor your own feelings. Love it. Honor your own feelings. Be who you want to be. Do the things you want to do. Live your life. Grow, right? Leave that past behind. That past person needs to go. That past idea, that past drummer, that past this, whatever it is, and maybe it's all of the above. You're like, I gotta, I gotta, you know, I don't know, for some reason I was like, I gotta have this terrible old lady and a terrible drummer. I don't understand. I gotta let them both go. They're both killing me. Maybe they can end up together. I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> Hey, you, get out of my band and take my old lady with you. Oh, no. Okay, Chamber of Violet Flame. Karmic release. There it is. Bam. That's it. That's it right there. Holy, holy. Wow. Dropping the shields for the divine love to come through. There it is, you guys. Oh, my gosh. This one has been so synchromatic this whole time. Wow. There it is. Saturn's telling you, release release this karmic for the radical transformation. There is something better, so much better that I am giving you. I am giving you something better. I need you to let that go. Go. This is going to feel like magic. Wow. Why? Because I've got a higher heart activation going on over here for dropping shields. Divine love coming through your heart is going to be healed through this faded meeting of this person. I don't care if you already know this person. I don't care if they're brand new coming in. It doesn't matter. Everybody's story is different. You might be talking with this person and not even know that they're a divine love. You might not even know that until you release this other person. Then you realize, holy, holy heavens, I've got this beautiful person sitting next to me this whole time. So let's, and I'm going to say it's going to be right here. I'm putting this one on the fifth house. So let's clarify on the Capricorn with this card. I don't know. That's crazy. So what does the Capricorn over here with the hard work say? Yeah, put in the hard work with love. Clarify on the Capricorn, please. Here it comes. I am presence, light body activation, accessing your divine within yourself. And that's what it said. Remember who you are. Use your voice. Feel the confidence in, within yourself, working through any of 
anything that makes you feel like you're an imposter to your own love life, to your own self, living a life of an imposter. I can't be myself. This person does not allow me to be myself. Something's going on that's holding me back from being my uniqueness, being myself. Living, look at that. Marion seed codes, embracing this sensitivities, uniqueness, living with the grace of myself, activating the seed codes of my own. Hey, you know, it's going to be hard. You guys probably are getting a lot of synchronized numbers too. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's intense. Man. Hold on, guys. I have to rub my eyes because it's like, oh my goodness. Because my nose is tingling. And my third eye, like, ah. Oh. Okay, that's wow. I think so far, guys, you have had the best reading so far. The synchronized um, activity of the way everything is working is so overly spot on that it's just like, that's really what is really, truly, truly needed to be said and truly, truly what's going to go on. For those of you who this resonates with, I'm telling you, crazy. I mean, a lot of them have been really synchronized, but not to this point. This is one of those really like, boom. Okay. And it's crazy. This one right here is attuned to the divine. I didn't even see that it was sitting out. I was, I guess, I don't know, it must have flew out and I didn't even see it. <clears throat> Make sure that you are attuning to the divine during this time, my friends. Okay, so, and that was it for you. And if you know someone who's Scorpio who's going through something like this, man, make sure you share this video. This video was intense. So, good luck to each and every one of you. And until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.